Hey guys, it's me Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. This is going to be my Inktober video for this year and this is going to be around the time where everyone uploads their Inktober videos. So I hope you guys like the spam of Inktober videos for the next couple of weeks of November. But I'm just here to upload mine. Mine really isn't all that grand because I only completed 16 days out of 31 because let me tell you the story. So so I had well intentions to actually finish it this year because my work schedule is going up and down, up and down for the past month or so. So I actually have more free days to do a lot more things than I used to. But you know, I thought that would be the case, but life is life. And it's like, you know what, hunty? You ain't having your life as grand as you want it to be. So I went from being two days behind to three days behind to 20 days behind. And I just could not keep up with it anymore. So I'm like, you know, Know what why rush these drawings so I actually was chillax with it I'm like whatever number I stop off on is whatever number I stop off on which is day 16 so um yeah so for my inktober I use this um Arteza Arteza however you pronounce this brand premium mixed media sketchbook because I really love this paper I really love how nice the markers lay on it but I will give a warning um markers on mixed media paper um, they, they lay down pretty, but your markers will be dead by the time you finish, um, this sketchbook or using paper of it, you will lose a lot of ink. So, um, a lot of the markers I did use, they kind of are on death door, so I feel bad about it. But I don't feel bad, because they actually created really cute pieces. <laughs> so, yeah. So, my markers of choice was actually my... Let me get the right ones. My markers of choice was my Ohuhu pastel markers, as you can see. I got these as a gift from my friend, Unico Nico, here on YouTube, but more so on Instagram. And I love them so much. <laughs> these markers are just amazing and I decided to go with a more pastel vibe because I don't use pastel colors and a lot of my art so I'm like you know what why not go big or go home so pastel was kind of the theme of this um sketchbook for a while but I kind of found out the limits of all light colors so I didn't mix some colors from my other um Ohuhu set and some um other markers that I have just to kind of give the right color shades in which the characters need to kind of fix their color palette to be more accurate but the Ohuhu pastels were the markers I use mainly um, in all of my pieces so if you guys are like Narelle this character's hair is a lot lighter than it actually is this is the reason why um without further ado let me just show you my inktober for this year alrighty guys so this is going to be the setup in which i'm going to show my sketchbook i've done two sketchbook updates with this setup before so it's not really all that new the only thing that i have to do is remember the placement of this sketchbook because i really cannot see um whatever i'm recording right now but anyway so this is the sketchbook in which i use like i said so let's just get started with it because i don't want to keep this video too long so <laughs> hopefully i'm remembering where i'm putting this sketchbook but um anyways um i did write a list of all the characters in which i did draw for inktober so you guys can kind of follow along with me but this is not my neatest handwriting <laughs> this is just something i did really quick so i can remember who is what and who is who <laughs> so hopefully um going forward i can remember all the names of these characters and hopefully I can sell it all to you guys <laughs> if I honestly wasn't inspired to do a fan art I just drew my own characters um, so technically it's not cheating it's just that I don't feel like talking about a fan art right now <laughs> so yeah so this is my little list for you guys to go along so if you guys want to stop the video here to look at who I drew so you can be well prepared of it um you can do that but for right now let's just get started because again I don't want to hold this video too long but I'm going to check if I'm in frame so I know um if I'm Gucci and I am Gucci okay so let's just get started with day one okay Alrighty, so um, day one is actually Dren from Mew Mew Power because Dren is actually one of my favorite characters from Mew Mew Power. But if you guys watch the Japanese version, it's Tokyo Mew Mew, and I forgot his Japanese name. 
I'm so sorry. I will put it on the screen because I know a lot of people have this huge debacle of what these characters are named and what the show is named, so do not come for me. Um, but I think his Japanese name is Kishu. Kishu? Don't come for me. But So, um, yeet. So the next character in which I drew is Chifuyu from Tokyo Revengers. He is legit my favorite character. I'm not even kidding, you guys. He's my favorite. But um, I actually finished Tokyo Revengers about a month and a half ago, and it's amazing. So if you guys have never seen Tokyo Revengers, I high-key recommend it because it's awesome. It's a very good show. <laughs> even though they did Chifuyu dirty. If you guys have seen the show, you know why they did him dirty, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys who have not seen the show so yeet so um the next one is actually Kyo from Samurai Deeper Kyo um this show is centuries old it's not even relevant anymore I think it came out in 2012 it's old it's very old <laughs> I really like this drawing. This is actually the body in which Kyo takes over. So this isn't how he actually looks like. He actually has long red hair and all that stuff. But I suck at drawing long hair. So I'm like, you know what? I'm good with drawing his fake body. <laughs> but um, I actually really like how this turned out. Um, I've never drawn Kyo before. I might have, but I might have not liked it. Because a lot of these characters, I probably have done fan art of, but I I just don't like it at the time so I just wanted to prove myself I can do better art of some characters that I thought were hard um, than others so yeah so the next one is Hikari from Nagi no Asukata. Um, this actually has glitter on it. I'm not going to see if I can get it to show, but if my camera is picking it up, yay for picking up the glitter. But if it's not picking it up, I'll try to do like an overlay showing the glitter on his eyes. Because in a gist, Hikari is like a fish. So fish is kind of glimmery. So I thought glitter would be cute on his eyes. But um, Nagi no Asukata is a very cute cute anime. If you guys have never seen it, I high key recommend it because it's cute and I really love how I did Hikari's hair. I believe I might have put pink in it. I don't know. I don't know. I think I might have put pink in his hair. Um, I might have not, but I really love how Hikari turned out. And I did do a fan art of him and Monica a while ago. And I'm just like, this looks more like Hikari than the fan art I did ages ago. <laughs> but that's due to me, you know, getting a little better at art. You know, so, um, yeet. So, um, here is day five, which is Mitsuki from Boruto. Um, he is Orochimaru's son. You know, we all know the truth behind him. But yeah, he's Orochimaru's kid. Um, I actually didn't want to do a Naruto fan art because I know everyone knows Naruto. I wanted to do characters that people don't know, but then I could just kind of fell into the, um, line of just drawing characters people know. <laughs> but, um... Um, I actually really like Mitsuki's design. He's really cute. He kind of has, like, the whole, um, Naruto hair, how Naruto's hair was in the regular series. So I'm just like, I know this isn't going to be easy for me, but surprisingly so, Mitsuki was actually very easy to draw. He didn't really give me no trouble. Um, and I like his color palette because it's just blue with yellow eyes, which is what I really like. So, um, yeah, he's a very simple character to draw, and his palette is very simple as well and I really love the blues in the pastel set of Ohuhu so I think that's what made me want to draw him more because the blues and the Ohuhu pastel set are just fabulous Alrighty, so the next one, which is day six, I don't know why I haven't been saying the days, but you guys can kind of follow along. <laughs> but um, the next day is Monta from iShow21. Monta is legit my favorite character. I love him. He's, uh, I love him. My husband from the show is Hiruma from iShow21, but my favorite character is Monta because I kind of resonate with him and I just love him. And if you guys have never seen iShow21, 21. You've been living under a rock. It's one of the best sports animes. Uh, sports anime is always perceived as like, if you like sports, you will like the show. But I feel like you don't have to like sports to like sports animes. I think that's just kind of a myth, <laughs> to be honest. So um, I highly recommend I Show 21. I think the show is really old too. I think I Show 21 came out in 2004. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, because I still have a Shonen Jump magazine with a chapter of Aisho 21 in it. So Aisho 21 is ages old, but it's a really good show, so I highly recommend it. Alrighty, so um, day seven is actually of Simon from Guden Lagan. Again, a very old anime, but a very good good one. Um, if you guys have never seen Guden Lagan, I highly recommend it. It's a very good show. Um, I've drawn Simon before, but I never could get his look right, and I still don't think this looks like him. It looks like him, but I don't think he got his essence the way I wanted to get his essence because I did really have the bright blue color for his hair. I think that's what's really um, throwing it off for me, but it's cute. I like it. I just, I, I'm just mad at myself because blue is like one of my most used colors. So I feel like if I actually had his shade of blue for his hair, I would have liked it a little bit more than I did. But overall, I really love how I did the drawing. The drawing turned out really cute and I actually really like it. So day seven is Simon from Guren Lagan. And his name is, is spelled Simon. I feel like if he was English, we would say Simon. But in Japanese, it's Simon. Simon? Yeah, it's whatever. It's whatever. Okay. So day eight, yep, day eight is actually of a new character I am making. His name is Nigel, and he is actually a very big fanboy of Rayo. You know that character in which I'm like, oh, this could be Rayo's younger brother? This is him. Uh, but now that I'm looking back at it, I like this look, but I don't think this is the look that fits this character. I don't know if I want this character to have curly hair or not. So I'm probably going to redesign his hair personally, so that's why I'm actually quite excited no one did fan art of him, because I don't know if I want this to be his actual look. The face is what I like, I just don't like the hair choice, and I don't know if I want him to have piercings or not, because I don't know. I don't want every weird character of mine to have piercings and make him look weird, you know, because I think that's kind of the stigma of uh, of people that are other than normal, they have piercings, tattoos, but I feel like I don't want him to be the stereotypical weird person, you know, you get what I'm saying? But again, the face is what I like, what I just really want to change his hair, and he may not have piercings in his actual design. So again, if you guys have seen this one, please don't do fan art of Nigel. <laughs> if you like this look, you are more than welcome to do fan art of him, but this probably would not be his final design because I'm looking at this and I see stuff I want to change. So again, if you want to do fan art of this look, you can, but it will he will look totally different in the future going on. All right, moving on. All right, so day nine is actually of Helbrem. Helbrem from Seven Deadly Says. And this actually has glitter on it as well. Again, I don't know if it's going to show on the camera, but I will do a little overlay um, on the video screen showing the glitter on this character. But Helbrim is actually one of my favorite characters from Seven Deadly Sins. I freaking love him, and I love that he's legit all green. I just think that's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> to me personally and uh he is just fabulous and i think i said it in a vlog of mine but seven deadly sins was good but i just didn't like the last season the last season was good i just didn't like it but you know if you've seen the last season you'll get why i'm saying that i just feel like they could have gave more at the last episode but you know if that's the way the um, the artist ended it, then I can't complain with that. But I felt like the last season really was lacking um, ending quality. But, yep, that's my opinion of that but moving forward um so this is actually day 10 which is of levy from the world is still beautiful this show is actually very old i think this show came out in 2014 i believe so and oh my gosh it has one of the most prettiest soundtracks of all time and i listened to that soundtrack i think five times because the song is like five minutes long so it was long enough for me to get sketch done and when i was coloring him i was just doing whatever but um he is actually super cute and i really love levy i drew him a while ago you've seen a drawing of him in that unseen sketchbook from 2014 so yeah this is my version of him seven years later which is kind of a mind-blown shock factor <laughs> i 
All right, so the next day is of my OC Mochu. Mochu, not Mochu. Mochu. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he is actually my pastel boy character. Um, if you've seen that video of me creating pastel boys from the Pastel Girl app, um, he is one of them. And my other one is named Louie who I don't draw that much anymore, but um, whenever I was feeling like down and whenever I just didn't feel like drawing a character from an actual show, I just subbed in my character. So I made sure to say that on Instagram. So guys, if you're new, he's not from an anime. He's actually my own character. So yeah, and again, he has a more pastel vibe because his colors are pastel. So the marker set fit really well with him. So yeah, day 11. Day 12 is actually my least favorite day because um, I did something that I wanted to to see if I could do, but I just did not execute it the way I wanted to. But um, this is actually Hiyakimaru from Dororo, and I wanted to draw, his, not draw, but I wanted to color him in a color scheme when he was like a little kid, which was a lot of grays, because he didn't really have that much color in his life. If you guys have seen Dororo, you know where I'm getting at, and I wanted the background to be color, but I just don't like this day, and I really don't have much to say about it, but you know, I think we all have those drawings with were just like man I could have I wish I could have you know did better but yeah I just you know I don't know I guess I wasn't feeling Inktober this day <laughs> all right so the next day of Inktober is actually of my character Nor so yeah he is my character <laughs> um I actually was in a weird drawing funk and I really wanted to draw him that day so I just made him a Inktober day, and again, I used a pastel type of color um, theme with his hair, because his hair is actually dark blue, it's not light blue, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm just like, hey, maybe light blue hair can complement him really well, I don't know, but you know, I'm living for the pastel blue look on him, actually, but yeah, this is my character, Noor, um, and yeah, I don't draw him that much, so it's kind of shocking to see him in an actual, like, challenge, but yeah, you know, I like him. He's cute. So the next one is actually a requested um, Inktober day for my friend Bri, Bri R Arts. Um, oh my gosh, why did I forget this character's name? Oh, Alwyn. Alwyn. He's actually from a Monster Hunter game. I think the second one, I believe so. And I was doing a live stream and her and my friend um, Blue Green Fishy um, requested certain characters for certain days. I did not do my friend's um, Blue Green Fishy's request. I will do theirs after because again I just didn't have time to do a lot of Inktober days but I will get to it so if you guys want to see who they wanted me to draw just keep up with Instagram because for sure I will post it there but yeah so this is Alwyn from Monster Hunter 2 which I know nothing about that game so I can't really give a statement but he is really a beautiful character and I didn't like this when I drew it but now that I'm looking back at it I'm like oh it actually kind of looks decent so yeah so day 15 is actually my character now, yeah. Um, if you guys don't know, he is actually Nadu's son. Um, but he looks exactly like Chio, so it's kind of obvious to tell that he's Naru's kid. But, um, I don't know, I just wanted to draw Naoya this day, so I'm like, let me just draw him as the Inktober day, and he turned out really well. Um, again, I tried to use the pastel tones for his hair, but the pastel Uhuhus don't have a lot of oranges, so I kind of had to use, like, a brown color and then an orange and then, like, a yellow, a yellowish orange to do the highlight, and I just kind of wish... You know, I have more solid oranges. Um, I watched the video, and I kind of agree a lot of marker sets don't give a lot of good oranges, which is actually quite funny. But, you know, marker sets make more oranges, please. Because orange isn't really my favorite color, but it actually is a cute color for certain characters um, that have orange hair. But, you know, it's just that I don't want to keep using a yellowish orange. I want actually orange hues and not a yellowish orange. If you kind of get what I'm saying. So, my last official day that I did for October is day 16, which is actually of Papa Naisho, who is actually not Naru's dad and Naoya's granddad. So I thought it was only fitting to end off Inktober with him because I don't know, I just wanted to draw Papa Night Show this day and I felt like I could just happily end off Inktober with Papa Night Show uh, as Eli's drawing officially 
for Inktober 2021. So that's it guys for my Inktober. I hope you liked it. I felt like it wasn't much, but then again, I'm just like, wow, it kind of is a lot. Um, again, I only did 16 days and I actually liked all the drawings I did. Besides the Hiyaki Maru one, I liked every one that I did. I didn't show this. I should have showed it. But guys, the struggle was real because this is all the swatches that I did for Inktober. Um, I tend to forget what color is which. That's the reason why I need to make a swatch card. But um, this is how I colored my drawings. Well, figured out the colors for all of them. So for all of you guys that are like, now I'll swatch your colors so you can know which one's which. I don't like swatching my colors. I just like finding the shock of it and be like, yo, that's the color I need. So um, yeah, that is my Inktober. I'm glad to say that is what I did. It may not have been all of what other people did, but so what? That is my Inktober. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment down what was your favorite drawing of this you only have 16 to choose from guys it's not like you have 31 boys to pick from you only have 16 so let me know what was your favorite um drawing that i did all of my drawings if you guys follow me on instagram are all there so everyone has seen these already but for all of you guys who are not old enough or just don't care about instagram and just want to keep on youtube this is what I did for Inktober. I gave, I went over the supplies and went over my sketchbook. So if you guys want to get the same looks that I did, that's what I did. This is the sketchbook I used. And uh, where is the markers? I don't know where I put the markers at. <laughs> and these are the markers I use. Um, I'm like, I swear, oh, hoo -hoo, I use your products all the time. Why haven't I got sponsored or whatever by you guys? You know, I love you guys, but it shows like it seems like I am not getting enough love. Totally kidding, but oh hoo hoo, you are the best, bruh. I love oh hoo hoo markers. I am totally recommending you guys to get them because the majority of these pictures were colored with this marker set i might take a break from art videos for a while because i haven't real talk i haven't really been feeling art for the past couple of weeks i haven't drawn that much for the past couple of weeks so i think i'm just going to take an actual break from art for the next week or so i do have some art videos already made so i'm just going to upload those but i'm pretty sure i'm going to upload this inktober video as my newest video so by the time you're watching this from here on out would be old videos because again i just don't feel like doing art that much anymore um, Etober really does ruin you not ruin you, but it does run, wear you down for drawing, and my hand is actually kind of suffering right now from coloring with marker for 16 straight days. I mean, it's not as worse as it was, but when I was really consistent with Inktober, my hand just was like, no, Nyro, don't pick up a marker, but I still made myself pick up a marker, and it feels really weird using markers now, so I didn't want to give myself a break from markers. Um, if I do do art, it's probably going to be with my Hemi gouache. Because I'm obsessed with Hemi gouache now, guys. I love it a lot. So you might see um, Hemi gouache art. Um, I'm not comfortable to make them videos, but I have done a lot of Hemi gouache art as, like, chillax pieces. So if I do a drawing update, which I should, you'll see all the drawings in which I did with the Hemi gouache. And I do feature a lot of it in my vlogs. So if you guys are caught up with my vlogs... You'll see all the art I've done with the Hemi gouache. I'm out, my vlogs are so behind. I'm so sorry. So everything is behind in my life. But again, going forward, I'm just going to take a break from art. All the videos in which you're going to see is actually videos I made ages ago. But haven't uploaded them yet. So if you guys are like, whoa, not real. This is new. It's not new. I've already made it. Hopefully I didn't end this off on a sad note. I think everybody kind of has this spiel of just taking a break from art and just chillaxing. So yeah. And I'm... Go to work on my comic. Um, I have to focus on other things. Patreon is not a thing in my life. So I'm just going to focus on the rewards for November. And yeah, so that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you liked it or whatever. And I will see you in my next one whenever that is. So bye. <laughs>